speak in private? What do you want to speak in private? Well, I've got some issues about this place. Do you just want to turn your phone off? We just don't allow phones on. Do you just want to turn your phone off? We just don't allow phones on. Sorry? Do you want to turn your phone off? We don't allow recording. Do you want to turn your phone off? We don't allow recording. Don't quote me from a legal point of view, but I, you can record. We've looked in the instructions. There's not a problem. Yeah. Video recording, I'm not so sure about. Personally, I'm not comfortable. Cause That's fine. You could put this on the internet. Could you could put it on Facebook or whatever you do. Well, if I'm you not comfortable say, with that. I'm got, if you have to say I'm not comfortable about the situation. I'm, I'm comfortable. With, I'm comfortable with this recording. No right, problem, but um, not the video recording. In fact, that it could go in the as James says in the public domain. I don't think that's the. I don't know from a legal point of view. Record, there's no problem James, I can sit down and talk to you both and you can record yeah. it. You've rung up, right? I've only picked up your email this morning, so I've been on holiday, just to say the interview will be recorded. We looked in the up and said, yeah, there's no, no problem. And I came out willingly. No problem. Just so you're aware. Just turn it off. It's off. Right, that's fine. Okay. What are your issues? Right. Let's get you some details out. Now, there was a compliance visit, I think, back in November. And it's been admitted by the compliance department that the report was sent from this office from the job centre which is why they're out so I'm putting a complaint in for n gross negligence right. or to find out if the person has intentionally lied this is what I believe to be the case right. it's an awkward bag is this bear with me Pardon me. It's <laughs> this old bag I've got, and there's a little clip on here. I just need to pull it out and get it open. So, what I want to know is who submitted the complaint and what the details are. We don't, we don't submit complaints. If you tell us things when you come up for interviews, we refer, if you have a conversation, I don't know what your conversation is, but we refer to compliance when things need checking out. So if you say something at your interview like, I've done part-time work and you've not declared it, or there's some hint that you're working, then we will bring compliance, they will check it out. There's no lying, it's a case of if someone suspects something may need looking at, then compliance come out, check it out. If there isn't a case, then that's fine. And that's Do you not agree that I'm entitled to know what that suspicion is? Well, I'm sure compliance told you, because you haven't told me. Right. They've declared that someone from the job centre, and I asked who it was, and they didn't know. Right. Which is the worst thing about it. Well, comp we all have eyes, and everybody just sends it's through. It's my understanding that when, when a release has been put in, you have a browser that you log into, you'll have an ID number that comes up and on the left hand no. side you've got a load of acronyms and codes like, uh, I don't know them all, but for example JBP or JCP, it might be late appointments or suspicion of this, suspicion of that, and that's what you've got on the system, is that the method you use to refer to the compliance department? Or do we you have an icon that we click on and it asks a series of questions, you go through the questions, you click whether they're relevant or not and it refers directly. So there's a record of any reports being forwarded to the compliance department? Not from whom, it's just an automatic referral from a job centre. So you yourselves wouldn't be able to tell me who issued a report to the compliance department? I wouldn't be able to tell you, no, because I don't have access to everybody's icons. Who does have access? Well, it just goes through a central inbox. It doesn't matter who refers. Will it just go through a central inbox? It doesn't matter who refers. If someone has a conversation on front line, it is their right. I do lots of referrals on a weekly basis. I do lots of referrals on a weekly basis. It's our right to inform. I don't dispute that. Yeah. that there's a, there's do you understand I'm not here to dispute that though? I'm not. I'm just explaining what we do. Yeah. If a question arises, it's our job to refer it to compliance to check it out. And they will prove either that it's 
just a question that didn't need answering or there might be something more to answer to. Right. I so there's no blame and there's no lies, it's just a job that they do. It's like when you put in a claim for benefit, they will check some people's bank accounts and they will check that the, what they say is right. Right. I don't dispute that. So I, I, I'm not quite sure what, what were your question. You haven't right. told me the full case yet, obviously. I, I, I'm not quite sure what, what were your question. You haven't right. told me the full case yet, obviously. Well, I'll give you my full story. It's all on paper anyway, but like you, you, you come into this cold, so obviously you don't know what's happened, or do you? Do you I have any idea what, of what this meeting was about? I thought it was because you were having a quite an in-depth argument with Darrell, and you were getting quite loud, and then you asked to see a manager. You'd requested to see me before. Yeah. Um, there will be a complaint about Darrell. Right, well I can deal um, with that today, but so that's, that's totally up to you. Yep. So, this all started really, as far as the compliance department is concerned, regarding this letter. Which came to the care of address. Right. Now, this letter here, would you be able to tell me, from, from what you can observe, on this letter. When was this letter printed? It's not a letter. It's come from Job Centre, but it's not a letter that we use. It's not a letter. It's come from Job Centre, but it's not a letter that we use. This was sent through the post. This come through the post. Would you be able to tell me the date of which this letter was printed? No, because it's not on there, but... Would you be able to tell me the date of which this letter was printed? No, because it's not on there. But what what are you getting at? Go on. Right. Well, I'm not getting it out yet. I'm just asking you a question. Well, no, there's obviously an underlying. So if oh, yeah, yeah, that, certain, yeah. Because yeah. uh, when I claim something, I have reasonable articulable reasons as to why I'm claiming what I'm claiming. Right. We're not so in court, so get to the no, point. No, of course not. <laughs> so if right. you want to get to the point... So <laughs> you can see the date there. Can you see that date? Right. Right, well, that's what... what that's 22nd of August 2014, would that right. be right? Well, that's what it says. That's what it says, right. So, you've got a, a letter printed out on the 22nd of August for an appointment. And what does that date say there? Well, I'm sure you can read it as much right. as I Right, Saturday, can. the 11th of October, right. 2014. Right. So what's that, roughly six weeks difference right. between that date and that date? Yeah. So this letter was printed out six weeks before for an appointment that was due six weeks later, right. roughly. Right. So first of all, and I want to understand why you make an appointment so far ahead, six weeks in advance. Why? Why does that happen? It depends, because we do have what we call quarterly reviews that have to be done by a certain time scale. What does this say? This is. Yeah. It's a Saturday. This is this. We don't use the interview on a Saturday. Well, I got an appointment for Saturday, the 11th of October. It sounds like we were open before Christmas because we were catching up on work that needed to be done. It sounds like we were open before Christmas because we were catching up on work that needed to be done. It sounds like we were open before Christmas because we were catching up on work that needed to be done. Right. So you'd have been booked in to come in and see us. Right. And that's why. Right. Because we don't normally work on a Saturday. No. This letter for this appointment. So the appointment was for Saturday the 11th of October 2013. Right. Okay. This come into the post box Saturday the 11th of October 2014. Right. So clearly it was sent at a time where it would have arrived for the very same day the appointment was due. Right. Right. So my concern with this is the job centre has issued me with an appointment. This letter telling me about the appointment has arrived on the day that the appointment was due. Right. Right. And it was a Saturday. Right. 
and the job centre know that I've got kids on a Saturday, so there's been no due consideration there. Right. So there was that. That's that's the first complaint Does about you know where this on letter. Your record before you saw Daryl that you've got children on a Saturday. It's not logged anywhere on your record because right. I've been through your whole record this morning. Because I've been through your whole record this morning. Since I made a claim in August, I've said until I'm blue in the face that I have children on the weekend and it was Sharon, second floor, second to third desk, on the right, who I saw consecutively right. on a weekly basis, who can confirm that indeed right. And I can go see I Sharon, because she's not logged it anywhere on the system. Right. So obviously this team were not aware. Right, so there's been but your miscommunication there, hasn't there? But your job seekers agreement actually says you're available for work on a Saturday. But your job seekers agreement actually says you're available for work no, it on doesn't. a Saturday. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it doesn't. And when you find out and confirm that it does right. state I'm not, that's going to be another example. Because yeah. you said you were sure of that. Yeah. So I know you're, you're not available. sure of it because I know or you're wrong. <laughs> Sorry, I saw a different customer. Availability. Yesterday. It's availability. That's yours. right. Yeah. Sorry, I saw a different customer. Availability. Yesterday. It's availability. That's yours. right. Yeah. It's right. a different customer. I saw. So, Sharon can confirm that indeed. Right. Since I was blue in the face. Let's get on with the point because we're right. labouring this. Good stuff. We, we, right. could, we could so. go on forever. But it's so you it, got your letter. It's important that we understand. It's like it slowly. I fully understand. You don't need to go slowly because I, I do this right. quite a lot. Good. I, I do this right. quite a lot. Good. So right. a letter was posted out. We're saying it went on the 28th. You're saying you don't get to the 12th. So there's some there's something there in between. Whether it was lost in the right. post, whether it's turned up late. Did you have the envelope that it came in so it shows when the date count was when it went through the post office? Right. Okay. That's good stuff. Because uh, obviously you're saying one thing, we're saying another. The letter says a different thing, so we, we really need to sort of obviously. You think there's a bit of a conspiracy thing going on here? We think we've probably posted it out. Did I say that? Out. No, but you think there's a bit of a conspiracy thing going on here? We think we've probably posted it out. Did I say that? Out. No, but that's what happens with customers. So you you're telling me what? No, I, get I that, think I get that a lot with customers. That get that a lot with customers. That get that a lot with customers. Because the worry that we do things on right, purpose. You're dealing with me. Because the worry that we do things on right, purpose. You're dealing with me, right? Not your other customers, we're right? Doing, we're going right. on, right? So don't. Pigeonhole is in the same. I'm not, I'm just saying right. people think that we do things on purpose right. and we don't. Well, I think that, you know, I'm saying that there's been incompetence and, 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 and possibly letter, deliberate lies. That but that's me just office. saying it. So you're just saying it and I'm just saying <laughs> it. But that, that's neither right, or either or either. That's, that's it. Move on. Good stuff. Right, so I got this on the Sunday. Right. You said the, the Saturday a minute ago. It was delivered on the Saturday. It was in right. the post box. Now, okay. It was a care of address and it's right. a post box and I don't have access to the post box. Right. Right. Because it's not my home. Okay. Right. So I get a phone call on Saturday from the person who lives at my care of address. Right. And she said, Right, James, there's a letter here for you. Um, I says, Right. So I came up on the Sunday, collected my mail. Right. Looked at it and I thought, This was an, uh, an appointment for yesterday. Right. When when did this come in? When did this come in mail? She says, well, I checked them on Friday evening. There was nothing there. I right. says, right, okay. I says, thanks. So obviously, I couldn't. It was a Sunday when I got it, so I couldn't speak to the job centre about it. Right. So I thought that, that the only logical option was to call into the job centre physically with the letter and explain what happened. Right. Right. So I've come in with the letter, mm -hmm. explained this to Anne. And you can see here, date received, Sunday the 12th of October, these are my notes. Right. Went to Job Centre on the Monday the 13th of October 2014 right. and spoke to Anne. Right. It was to explain this letter. Right. Right. Which, sure enough, she got the sheet out, statement, signed it reason why I didn't attend this appointment right. because and it's a good job I did because later I got this saying a decision a doubt has arisen on your claim for job seekers allowance because it appears that you failed to attend an, ad an advisor interview or yeah. job search review yeah so it's just as well I come down yeah. about the appointment because this was sent out later anyway well that will have been sent out when you came, because when you come down, those go out automatically. Of course. So, so it's that, that's, that's automated. That's been from when I'm Because you've set an appointment, you. I didn't attend, you've sent that out as yeah. procedure. Yeah. Which is fine. 
and that's why I come down to discuss this letter yeah, and so I, I right. gave my reasons for it and it signed it and that wasn't an issue maker. Yeah, that goes to the decision maker and this is where it comes into the compliance thing now I thought it might be helpful at the time to bring Simone with me that particular day because she could support and give a witness statement herself if necessary yeah right to the to the to support in my claim that indeed this was received on the day it was actually the appointment was for and I didn't actually physically get the letter until the Sunday right right yeah and okay. that and yeah. to confirm that it, the reason that that was the case was not because I didn't check my mail was because it's a care of address and right. I wanted to bring someone in I think I know where this is going so you there brought you go. a female Cor with you that's a care of address exactly. so the automatic thing that we would do on that is refer it to compliance to check there's no living together and this is what I'm trying to understand I'm just trying to understand the procedure that's all is, is that what's happened right because that's what Anne should have done right. she should have made a referral yep. or whoever you saw should have noticed she'd got a care of address noticed it's a female and it's standard policy to refer right. and I don't dispute that yeah right that's all and, and like I say I'm not I'm not taking issue with anyone yeah. but yeah. I do no, have a specific ma claim to make, yeah. but I understand your procedures and I don't dispute, it, it, you, it I don't dispute been, that. If you'd have told anybody when you were talking about receiving post and it's a female address, it's an automatic thing. Any member of staff should have made that referral. And all it is, is to check that you're not living together. Right. And it's I don't dispute not, that. It's not to check you are, yeah. it's not, to just not. make sure that the and policies I, I, are being done. I don't dispute done. that yeah. at all. And, um, so if she's, if and if I, I also found out from the compliance department that in actual fact, if somebody is using a care of address, they would check that out anyway. Yeah, yeah, they normally do. And I'm, whoever's seen and it, you know be what? it Anne, be it anybody. Sure thing, not a problem. Yeah, and it shouldn't be because and it's it shouldn't be. standard. Yeah. And I have not an issue with that, and I just yeah. want to make that clear. Yeah, right. no, that's good. Yeah. But, but the staff are doing the job if they do that. But mm -hmm. this is where my complication comes in, because in trying to understand this, when I understand that, yeah. but I'm hearing a version of events which contradicts all right. and, and, and makes what you're saying a little bit more complicated because there's more to it than that. All right, go on then. And that's what I'm trying to get to. Go on. So she started asking me at the time, after dealing with this, which was great, you mm. know, she, and she did indeed deal with this situation and she put it through and I don't know, well, I'm still here. I was yeah. never, any issues arose from yeah, that. So they never went, got back to me. Through, so it went yeah. through and yeah. someone's obviously signed off on it. Yeah, yeah. So that's great. So thanks for for that. However, she's then begun to ask me of all the locations, of all the people that I stay at. That were to do the compliance referral. Right, that's okay. That's probably yeah. why she's done it. Because obviously she's got to, if we're referring to compliance, they need enough background. Because if we just she's, send She's it just up, asking questions and I've not a problem with that. Yeah. However... If she sent it up and didn't know anything and just said you had a care address female and would give no information about where you were living, then obviously there's more of a case probably right. that they would be thinking, hang on a minute, why why is he not telling us? Sure thing, right. So in, the, in, in this process, first I'm alarmed because I first become homeless in the in the month of, the end of February 2013. Right. Because there are lots of things that people can help you with. There are I lots know, of places I've, to go. I've like 10 years in Glasgow, I've spent yeah. about four or five years of homelessness up yeah. there. I know the homeless scheme. Yeah. I know, I know it works. What you've got to remember is, because we're claiming benefits, it's government funded, so we have to make sure that people are claiming it correctly. And do you know, I've no, I've no so issue with that. It's, it's, not, it's not a case a problem. of right. they're doing the job right nope, that's if they fine. are starting to ask questions that are quite delving. And that's fine. And yeah. But I'm getting to it. Right? Yeah, so, yeah, so she's asking me the names of places that people are staying. I've, I've explained to her that when I was made homeless in February 2013, I used my mother's address as a care of address. Right. I didn't stay there, I didn't live there. <laughs> I stayed. Complaints would have normally come out to visit that as well, to right. check. Well, they didn't. Right. What happened was, is she got up discovered one morning she hadn't been paid now my mum is 60 odds um, she's on incapacity disability for a lot of issues a lot of issues right and the money was stopped for several weeks without notice without warning and it's not until she made an inquiry that she was told that her money had been stopped because somebody was living with her and she didn't declare it. Right, and that's because you were using the house as a as care, a care of address. address. But nobody yeah. checked or asked. They should have done. Right. Which is So why. they've taken action. Yeah. Yeah. 
doubt. Without any evidence or suspicion, no. I mean, I can't comment on no. the case because I've not been involved. And neither could Anne. Yeah. Right? Neither could Anne. Yeah. We, right? we have to do our job to the of best course, of our Of course, and I totally respect that. Yeah. But the, the problem with this is, is that the response I got from Anne was that that wouldn't happen. Right. Well, it did happen, and 75% of sanctions have been overturned. Right. That's a fact, and it's so undisputable. You, you've been sanctioned. You've no. lost me there a little bit. Right. No, so I've right. not been sanctioned. Oh, right, no. right. You've, you've it's just a fact. Right. That your own records show 75% of sanctions have been overturned. Well, let's get back to your right. case. So you've so you had a compliance visit then, is that the... No, no right. I, I, I wasn't... I used my mother's address as a care right. of address. After that, she wouldn't speak to me. Right, which is, yeah. It, it, she was freaked and she's got, she's yeah. on men, in yeah. facet disease. So yeah. it's caused distress and alarm, yeah. and it's actually ruined my relationship with my mother because I haven't spoken I to her since. No, that, of course not, of I, course I've not. I've not been involved in but that. But I explained to Anne that the reason I do not want to give any of my personal information out to anyone is that, and I, I checked my MP to make sure that this was okay, and he said, yeah, that's totally fine. As long as they've got a care of address, they don't need to know any other information. We will question you. What you've got we can to question, but I, I need to sort of, I need, I need to follow through with this, because we're not going to get anywhere with the actual compliance section. But after the, so we dealt with this letter. Yeah, what Anne did were right, because no, no, she could have ended up in the I predicament. I don't dispute with that at this yeah, point. Yeah. At this point, I'm completely in compliance. Yeah. They're and doing understanding. a really good job and it's no just problem. all it is is checking people are doing what they're supposed to be doing. And, and I'm safe. agreeing with that. Yeah. Absolutely for certain. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I explained to her that I yeah, couch surfing. Right. Right? Friends and family. Yeah. And camping. Yeah. Sometimes for days on end. Right. Okay. Right? Which so from right. that then she So I said to her, I says, I'm not willing to so it doesn't happen again. Right. Right. And I says, Well why do I have to? And she went, Well it's compliance. Yeah. I says, Well, I'm not going to bite the hand that feeds me. If people yeah. are willing to put me up yeah. and they ask me not to yeah. tell anyone, I'm going to respect that. Right. So, yeah, that's And, and she went away, checked, come back, and never mentioned another word about it. And that's fine. And that's fine. Yeah, because right. that's what she should have done. Because yeah. if you're not prepared, you can stop at people's on odd night, even right. if they're on benefit. It, it doesn't affect their benefit. But if you're not prepared to tell us that, then what Anne would have done is referred it up with just the information we had. And that's great, that's fine. And that's, that's, right. that's her job. But my problem hasn't right. come into play yet. This is not right. where my issue right. starts. This yeah. is building go up on. to where it starts. Because you need to understand the background. Yeah, go on. Right. So what's happened then is at some point in the middle of all this, after that, after she's gone away and checked and come back, while she was away checking, I thought, and I waved Simone down. I brought her with me. Right. And I said, so this is someone, this is the lady that I'm using as a care of address. Right. And she's sure enough, she went, do, do you stay there? I says, no. I says, it's a care of address only. And I stay at friends and families or sleep in the woods one or two nights a week. Right. right? And she went, right, okay. And uh, sent someone away. Right. Uh, I think she was, uh, <laughs> she didn't. I don't think she liked Simone just like showing up at a desk like that. Well, and we normally uh, say we need to interview you obviously. on your own because obviously, so, but, obviously but, but anyway. It was not armed on, it was just yeah. a shot yeah. bit helpful. So that was fine. And I wrote down there, I took Simone with me to further confirm to Anne the address was a care of address only and I stayed in the woods or at friends and families one or two nights a week. No, that's fine, yeah. 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 Right. Now, and then we went away and that was it. Yeah. Right? And obviously, so many weeks yeah. later, You'd have got a letter. and I got this letter. Jim, Jim Cuthbertson was his name, and it was this. And this, yeah. this was the. Uh, and the that's, thing, that's the right? compliance visit, okay. yeah, which is what should quite rightly happen, mm. yeah. So, we got this thing here, right? So, you know about the compliance department. Now, we had the compliance visit, yeah. right? But what I want to stress to you is that eventually, after the compliance, dip isn't, uh, compliance visit, I, I made further inquiries, right? right? 
And I was telling Steve Prosser about it on uh, the 6th of January when I come in to sign on. Yeah. Uh, 9.14, so I believe it was a sign on day. And I asked him about the situation, about the letter, about the compliance. Oh, the visit. Yeah. Right, I get you, sorry. Yeah. And I, I, I was querying it, and I says, Could, as I'm putting a referral to the compliance department, he won't be able to tell right. But he looked on the system and he showed me the report that, you know, you can put notes on that little bit there. That oh, conversations. Yeah, yeah conversations and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. And he showed me, and Anne's own report, own notes, confirm, and, and he was confounded because he's like, Anne's own very notes back up. What you've said. What I've said yeah. and written down on here. Yeah, no, that's fine. Right. Yeah. Right. But you'd still have to make the referral. Uh, right, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. that's policy. Yeah. Right. Even though you're telling us compliance have to just verify right. that because we can't come out and visit you in your home. We can't come check that you're, you're using the care of dress and you're not living there. Because what could potentially happen is what could hap what happen to your mum. Mm -hmm. It's because you're registered at someone's address. If they're in receipt of benefit as a care of dress, well, could stop their money. My mum was just monies were stopped dead no no warning do, no what thing what we normally do is the right thing which is refer to right. compliance to come out visit check you're not living there i'm sure they've done that it's not a problem right and i've not disputed with that and yeah. it's no problem yeah. right so she's done what she should have so done so now we're going to get onto yeah, yeah said, she, on on your own system yeah but that yeah when it goes to compliance that backs up right their visit yeah. as well because they're right. saying well actually saying right. this well, that's interesting you should say that because this is where my issue with right, go it on. comes, into, com, comes yeah. into effect. Right. I have on video record Jim Cuthbertson from the compliance department stating on record right. it was stated in the report referred to the compliance department that I stated I stayed at the care of address for uh, two nights a week. But that we can't put that on a report. But that we can't put that on a report. He's in words. Yes. You mentioned in the job centre that you sometimes stay. That's no, I didn't. No, we've got proof. It's a care of address. Right. We've got well, we're not and we're, we're more than happy to do the visit. We're happy to comply, yeah, but it would it would well, be under Jor S. Well, that's a problem then, isn't it? If you don't what understand what's going on at the job centre. Job centre. That you've said you stay a couple of nights. I'd never said that. That's well, it. Well, that's what there's well, on the report. Well, if that's a report, I want to know who's written the report I so I can put a complaint in. Because now we have to, you know, it's no, no. What, it's what, well, I'm saying I don't you mean know. It's I'm just informed? that you mentioned it. The job centre that you stay a few nights. No, I didn't. That's well, a lie. Well, well, well so and I. Really is, right? you you've said something down at the job centre. You're both on Benny. No, I you're haven't said anything like anything. that. Well, this is what. It's just what you said. That's all. You said you've come here because. We're both on the same address, that's, that's right. right? But yeah. that's been deemed perfectly okay by the job centre before the claim they went said through. It was okay when we went down. So the, the so reason is that it's the, the reason you're here is not so because we're on the same address. Course, it's because you've had a report. Somewhere along the line, you mentioned that you stayed. A it's noted right. for the record that is not the case. So whoever you need to put my response to that is that's not the case. And that the person who wrote that report has to explain why they've given incorrect information and made a false report. Mm, I don't know. I don't know because it's, it's, it's a result of that report that you've come out to somebody's private home. This is well, this is the issue. Well, well, you know? Right, care other people. We assume that you come to the flat to pick up your mail. Yeah. If there's any reason why you can't be interviewed with that person, we do this on a regular basis on the care of address. Yeah, but that works both way, ways. You, you way can't, yeah, right. but you can't say so you there's no reason why you couldn't because there might be a reason why I couldn't because if you don't have access to the flat and that person isn't available, you're not getting in. Mm -hmm. So there might be a reason why you wouldn't do it. You say, you're saying... Well, we didn't know this till I've just come out and see you both. But you morning. should know this. No, this is my frustration, the fact no. that you don't have all this information that's already been well, relayed to the job centre. No, we, no, 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 no. Listen, you both claim from the same address. We get a referral. We send a letter out, presumably, to come and see you both just to discuss the situation. Yeah, but it's the false yeah. report from the job centre, that's you well, see. Well, that's resulted in you coming out. Right. Not because. I, you're not here you because you, well, I've got a care of address to the same person. Yeah, that's not the reason you're here. You're here because it was referred to you to come out to here. 
That's the the, the thing, the, the very first report that resulted in you having to tell, take action. Tell Advance if you give me a ring, can you? Yeah. Well, that's just, just what the job centre referred to us. In right, well, I need to make a complaint the about a false centre. report then, don't I? Because you've admitted well, already that... You better speak. I don't know who yeah. sent it. Yeah, I know who sent it. And... Yeah. Um, down at Eastbrook Court. Yeah, down the Eastbrook Court. Right. right, and the not, I'm telling you, the not through experience. I'm not making it up. I'm not telling stories. I'm telling you my experiences. I went in there one time, and she wanted to know all of the places that I stay at. But well, that's personal outside the jump centre. They've got a care of address, but it's only I'm only allowed to stay at these places on the condition that they don't get anything to to their door re relating to me. James, we love you. We'll let you stay over. You can't use us because of what I'm to you, mum. We we don't want you using it as a care of address, but we love you. We don't want to see you on the streets. We know you're sleeping in woods sometimes. If we offer you a bed, you don't tell anyone. Fine, right? Why would I violate that trust with them? to give the job centre information they don't actually need when they've already got a care of address, a point of contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no problem. You have been transparent. Yeah. But just some information has been passed away. Right. So I need, I need to make a complaint to about a false report that you've received. When then. the next sign on. Yeah. But I, need to make, but I need to inform you that I you've received know. a false report. Because I wouldn't say that I, I I stay here when I don't stay here. I use it as a care of address, and I've till I'm blue in the face from day one. I brought her down to the job centre on my first day at well, the job centre. You, you, I brought her down it, with me. It seems that you called her over, called Simone over whilst you were being interviewed. Yeah, and it, was Anne. Yeah, it, it was Anne. It was Anne. She's the one who's made the report. Yeah, she's I'm the one who's put the report in. I don't know. And, and that's simply because he wouldn't, wouldn't give her... Because I wouldn't tell her of all the names and addresses of all the people all the that are willing to put let's, me let's up. Let's discuss all this when you come back. We should. We should. But it wasn't we should, It should be discussed. Mm. And that's where it's in the public interest, you see. Where there's... It's perfectly... Do you know what? You should check that nobody's ripping the system off. You should check that. Exactly right, right. Exactly but let's have a little respect for the rights of the man. I know, and we don't have a. We want you to know we don't have a problem with it. It's just now you've but confirmed that we already knew why we were recording it because. Um, I, well, I don't know. Just you've just confirmed it. You just confirmed it. You just said to me that I went over. No, you don't know who she is, but. No, you don't personally, but. Um, you've just admitted that's that. That's the whole reason. The, the, the woman, referral from the job centre. Yeah, you know the woman that he says, oh, apparently I brought her in and brought her over Sharon just to confirm the information. The information I've got to you. When you have to, it's disclosure, office. yeah. That's right. And I appreciate that. I, re I want to know this information. Thank you. I'll be, I'll be yeah. sir, this is the information I've got from the job centre. We get, apart from the job centre, there's thousands of referrals right, coming on a daily yeah. basis. We have to make sure that the person or person is claiming correctly. Yeah, and we appreciate that. That's why we, we had everything here for you. We had the, I had the, I mean, I could just grab the letter now and show you it, just if you wanted to read it from. I want you to. We tick a box yeah. that says there's a potential that there's potential yeah. living together, staying self employment. There's lots of different boxes. Yeah. There is a note space they can put on there. But I mean, if you've not even mentioned stopping, why would Anne put that on? Exactly. Anywhere? But I mean, if you've not even mentioned stopping, why would Anne put that on? Anywhere? Exactly. And so that's exactly what the very, that's exactly the same question I asked. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you've asked the same question. And we just click a box. We don't do yep. because it, it's quite time consuming if you have to go into full reports. So for us to do our report, we just click through and send it and let compliance do their job. And we're not saying people are turning so us We just want to clarify and the situation. Right. This comes to me questions. Why is there a report on one can hand? I, can I just ask? I know you're going into this in quite yeah. great depth, but did they stop your money? Did no. you find any case nope. to answer to? So nope. I won't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, so I, I would. I'm not worried about it. I don't know it. why he said what I'm he said. I'm pissed about it. Right, why? Be I'm not worried about it. I don't know it. why he said what I'm he said. I'm pissed about it. Right, why? Because right. I've done a job. Yeah. I don't know where they've got that side of it from. I don't know where they've got that side of it from. Anybody, if you moved address now and use someone else's a care of address, particularly if it's a female, 
they will check, even if it's male, if they're on benefit, they will yeah. come out and check. Uh, we will do a compliance. I've already there. told you I don't have a dispute with that. Yeah. How many times do you want me to agree with you? But I don't understand. Right, right. well, let me let me explain so you do understand, yeah. right? This is my problem. On the one hand, I've got my own notes and Anne's notes on the system supporting what took place and, and was said that day. To oh. that. Right. So they okay. can print all those conversations Yes. Yeah. What I want to know is why the compliance department who were met, they're not here because it's a care of address. I know that yeah. that's supposed to take place anyway. But care of address, we click potential yeah. living together. That's right. the only option we've got. It's right. not using a care of address. Is that live. what was put? Potentially living together? Potential li if it's right. male and female, they'll click potential oh, no, living no, together because no, no, no. it's the tick. Right. Right. You mentioned in the job yeah. centre that you sometimes stay. That's no, I didn't. No, right. we've got three. It's a care that. of address. Right. What I want to know is why. The compliance department, who I met, the only reason I have made this appointment, James, this is Jim's own words on video record, he stood at the door, we've got him on video recording, and he's blatantly said the words. The reason I am out here today is because a report was referred to the compliance department. Yeah, and it Full really stop. Don't. Yeah, and that's true. He says it's a, it, it's a check that happens anyway, mm, but yeah. we clarified on video... Just to be clear, yeah. the reason he's not here was because the care of address was being used and they were trying to check that out. It's a potential living together case. No. That's, y that's y what I it's need you to understand on. this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's no problem. You have been transparent. Yeah. But just some information has been passed away. Right. So I, ne I need to make a complaint to about a false report that you've received when then. When the next sign on. Yeah. It seems that you've called her up. Call Simone Ogle whilst you've been interviewed. Yeah, and it, was Anne. Is, it, it was Anne. It was Anne. She's the one who's made the report. I'm going to put the information I've got to you. When you have to. It's disclosure. Office. Yeah. That's right. And I appreciate that. I, re I want to know this information. I'll be. I'll just yeah. say this is the information I got from the job centre. It's just what you said. That's all. You said you've come here because we're both on the same address. That's, that's right. Right. But yeah. that's been deemed perfectly okay by the job centre. Before the claim they went through, so the reason is that it's the reason you're here is not so because we're on the same address. Course, it's because you've had a report. Somewhere along the line, you mentioned that you stayed. A couple this of is days. Jim's right. own words. Right. Of from the compliance department, what they are telling me, and I am right. telling you. Right. Right, I'm passing this information on so right. you can understand because you said yeah. you don't understand. Yeah, well, I don't understand where he said he got the two nights from because we don't put anything like right. that. We take it as a potential living together. He's told me that he's not here. I know that the care of address is a separate issue. Yeah. He was here specifically because a, a, a report was referred and what was in the report. And in that report, he stated that the report showed I brought Simone with me down the very day that I spoke to, that someone from in here spoke to both myself and Simone, which they did, it was Anne, I wrote it down, we had the conversation, mm -hmm. that's well, on the I system. I can't find out where he thinks he's got that from. That's well, on well, the I system. I can't find out where he thinks he's got that from. That's well, on well, the system. I can't find out where he thinks he's got that from. And So you yourselves wouldn't be able to tell me who issued a report to the compliance department? I would be able to tell you, no, because I don't have access to everybody's icons. Who does have access? And, yeah. and that I stated I stayed at Simone's place two nights a week. Right. Well, we don't know where he's he's stating that she states that well, in the report. I can follow that up. Right. So if that's the case, there's a clear contradiction between the reports, the, the, the notes I, I made on that day and she made on that day, confirming me, right. which Steve Prosser confirmed when he showed me the notes well, that we log it on our system it's yeah just and he exactly showed me because he said. looked at it and he went well it can't be now because she supported oh, what yeah, you yeah, said yeah, there there's no problem so you have been transparent yeah but just some information has been passed away right that come so out i need, I need to make a complaint so about a false report that you've received when then the next sign on yeah it seems that you called her all called simone over whilst you've been interviewed yeah and it, it was Anne. It, it, it was Anne. Anne. she's the one who's made the report i'm going to put the information I've got to you. When you have to, it's disclosure, yeah. That's right. And I appreciate that. I, re I want to know this information. Thank you, yeah. 
I'll just, I'll just yeah. say this is the information yeah. I got from Brilliant. the exactly what it is, yeah. But the compliance department have stated on video that in the report it states stays at the care of address two nights a week. Right. Well, I'll follow that up. That's not a problem. Do you agree that that is a contradiction? I do, yeah. Right. Yeah, I do, because I don't know where they've got that information if from. I con do you agree that that is a contradiction? I do, yeah. Right. Yeah, I do, because I don't Seems know where they've got that information from. Seems that you called Simone Ogle whilst you were being interviewed. Yeah, and it, it was, was, it was Anne. It was Anne. She's the one who's made the report. Place, I want to know, was the gross negligence... There was no gross negligence. ...or deliberately lying? Well, I don't really know, and I can't say that people are lying. I'd like to know where the compliance used to try and find out if someone's living together, whether that's conversations they used to try and trip you up if they think mm -hmm. that you might be. I don't really know, because I haven't done a compliance job. No. I don't think anybody's lying. I think what people are doing is checking benefits paid. Well, I don't, want, I don't want to know what you think it might be. Yeah. I want to know what it is. All I'm telling you is that your benefit's still being paid. That's not the issue. I'm not talking about my benefits being stopped. I'm here to talk about a. Com I've got a complaint about a contradiction. Right, and I can that, follow that up. That, that has been brought to my attention and through the compliance right, department. Okay, but I think you're focusing on it for the wrong reason. I don't, you don't know what my reasons are, with all due respect, but right. you don't know what my what reasons I'm are. Is, is you have proved your case because you're not living there and your benefits still I have proved on. my case and I'm not so living there and I'm, I've I'm now actually since then changed my down. circumstances slightly you and declared to that to you. I'm quite voice. calm, I really am calm, Please honestly. Lower your voice because you do put other people off. Well, I've heard no complaints right, as of yet. You do put other people off. Well, okay. that, that's, so that's here's it at the moment. I will, I will chase it up with compliance and I will have discussion with the right. compliance manager as to what's being said. That's not the a MP's already wrote a letter that's himself fine. separately. Do you want to see the letter? I don't need to see right. the letter from your MP. Okay. Because right. he's personally wrote into the job centre and made right. these same inquiries. And that's fine. And we'll leave that with your MP as well. Yep. So what you need to do now is, if that's the case, is you need to leave your MP on with it and leave me on with it. Okay. No, that's... Uh, well, I've but you can't keep going on about it every I've got time some you come in. Well, I've but you can't keep going on about it every time you come in. You need to look at your job search. When did, I mention, when did I mention this? Right, well, you've kept coming in and trying to see me, haven't you? So I'm assuming this is what you've tried to get out, so leave it with uh, me uh, Well, this is the second time I've tried to see you, and you it's been a successful... Up. Yeah, well, you didn't, you didn't come the first time. Well, I, it wasn't an appointment that I was made aware of. It was just that you were going to be available for 10.30, and yeah. if I could, if I wanted to see you, I could catch you then. Well, that wasn't what I were told. I right, well, so again, there's this miscommunication right. here, so this is it seems to be a consistent thing, isn't it, right. within this place? OK, let's just draw yeah. a line under... The but I do have, I, theory I, and let's move on. I, I, <laughs> okay, let's just draw yeah. a line under the but conspiracy I have, I, theory I, and let's move on. <laughs> conspiracy theory. I, I've come not on. stated any conspiracy. You, you come you on. Go in there. I'm not. Am I? Come you on. don't know where I'm going. Right. Let's move on. Let's yeah. carry on. I'd like to know. I'd like to know if you can confirm who sent the report and the exact details I in that report. Can't because we don't have access. I've told yeah. you that. Can't because we don't have access. I've told yeah. you that. That's well, on I the can system. Find out where he thinks he's got that from. And, and who would have access to well, that? I don't. The report just gets put on a spreadsheet, and then they go in order as to when the report comes through, and go visit people. And as far as I'm aware, it's just ticks in a box. Do you agree that I'm entitled to that information mm. if I wanted to know it? You can go, we do have a central team and you can ask for any information we keep on you. You can ask for that evidence to be sent to you, but I can't give you that. I would would you access. agree that I'm entitled to it? I would agree that you're entitled to access to your, the, any record we keep on you and you, we've got a central team that deals with it. So if it. I request some information that relates to me, there you shouldn't be any that. issues about getting that information. You go through the central team, you can do that. Right. If somebody does have a complaint, mm. like I do, who you put for your MP? If somebody does have a complaint, mm. like I do, who you put for your MP? Well, I've done that, right. but 
that's what you would suggest. You, 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 no. If they come to you with it, would you deal with it, or just send them immediately to the MP? No, we would deal with it. Cause you, if no. they come to you with it, would you deal with it, or just send them immediately to the MP? No, we would deal with it. Because what you happens would deal is, with it. You, you send it to the MP, it comes directly back right. to us anyway. So, if there is a complaint of gross negligence and or deliberately lying. Would that person be held accountable for that? If that was found to be the case? If it was found to be the case, then the person would be accountable. Right. As far as I'm aware, I can't see any of it, but through your eyes, obviously, you see something different, so you have a right to do whatever you choose to do. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Because I, mean, I can do this, yeah, and I will yeah, do well, this. Well, that's fine. That's your right. Yeah. yeah. Because I, mean, I can do this, yeah, and I will yeah, do well, this. Well, that's fine. That's your right. Um. Because it seems to me that these work coaches is what they are. Mm. These people here, I believe them to be work coaches, not advisors. Nor are they mental health positions, probation officers, drug or alcohol mis mis misuse experts. They're none of that stuff. We have experts but in those areas if you need them. Yeah, but it's not them experts who put the complaints into the compliance department, is it? It's them. But they're doing the job. Right. But this issue about being a care of address, now I've stated it's a care of address. We have to check that out. Right, and you have to check that out. We have thousands of people saying the care of address, and some are genuinely care of address, and some aren't. So it's our job to check it out. Mm -hmm. We and treat everybody the same. Yeah. So anybody that tells us a, a care of address, be it at new claim stage, or be it you change your circumstances when you come down, or we, f we find it during conversations, we will refer. We will refer other things to compliance. There are lots of things we look at and there are triggers that we look at to send to compliance. And compliance do their job by finding that there's a, not a case to answer to usually, and that's good because that means we've referred rightly, they've checked it out, they're checking we're paying benefit for the right reasons, good. Sometimes they do find there's a case to answer to and then benefit needs to stop. There were a guy in hospital due to kidney failure getting six pints of blood transfused into himself due to kidney failure, got a, a call from the job centre, he was asked to come in, he says, I'm in the hospital due to kidney failure, I can't come in. They suspected he were lying and his money was stopped. But this isn't your case, is it? And no, I but it's an example that it does take I place, and I'm, take, I'm claiming that it's taking place again. I'm, I'm claiming... That you're having a blood transfusion and six pints and you no. can't be available for work. I think you're just being funny now, and I think... I'm not. I, I do. It's, it's irrelevant to I your do, case. I, I do, I think... You yeah. had a compliance referral. I think since I've come in here, really... You proved you weren't living together. Your benefits continued. There's been no issues. You... To me, there's no case to answer to, so everything's fine. Yeah. I think you These work coaches seem to have unprecedented powers at the wave of a pen. But they don't. They've can done sanction their job. somebody. They've done their job. They can only sanction. They do not make any decisions themselves. Any decisions go to a central decision maker with evidence from yourself, or they go to compliance with evidence from yourself and put the conversation on to back your record up, and put the conversation on to back your record up and put the conversation on to back your record up so they couldn't they prove they couldn't they, they didn't give me mum any evidence that i was uh, as to why they thought i was I living there on, as I've said this man before. who had a blood transfusion but why uh, this is nothing to do with your case you are claiming something totally different and i'm not prepared to discuss anything else other than your case right so i'll be here all day <laughs> yeah of course but there doesn't seem to be any accountability, is there? There's not really. There's accountability, and especially for our staff working here. They do not make a decision themselves. They cannot stop benefit. They will refer it Has to Has anybody been held, made, uh, been held accountable for somebody's money being stopped what when it shouldn't have been? What do you mean? Well, if 75% of sanctions have I'm been not overturned... I've told you. If it's your case, I will talk to you about your I'm case. I'm asking you a question about the process of the job centre. As far as I'm concerned, in relation to my cases, the one that I've described to you in the compliance the department, been right, that's been discussed and you've told me that you're going to go away and confirm why the compliance report contradicts the report on the what system. What I'm saying to you, I will go away and discuss what compliance use as a conversation to try and find out if people are living together. If they go in and say, we've been told you're stopping two days a week to everybody, then that might be a standard they use to see if someone's living if, together. If you confirm that indeed it does state that in the report it states, I said that I stayed there two nights a week, how will you proceed? 
you don't have to fill in well I will check out what that says if there is a report at and all and if it turns out that that is the case how will you proceed well then I will discuss it with the people involved right and will they be held accountable we will discuss if there's clearly a severe contradiction Will they, be held, <laughs> will, will they be held accountable? We don't do public hanging, but we will look into it. Uh, I'm not asking anyone to be ha ha right. hanged. I'm, okay. I'm asking them to be held accountable. We are accountable for right. our job because right. we work for the government. So there are rules and regulations and policies in place which we will follow. Right. So you're going to look into this mm -hmm. and you're going to get me the information. I'm not going to get you any information. You told I was entitled yes, to that you information. you apply centrally to get the information. We don't give Who you do the apply information. To? I can find that information out and I will give it when you next sign because it's a central place you have to write yourself. It's, so it's just an address I'll write to? And they will give you. It's a freedom of information. You can request your information, but I can't give you that. And you can't provide that address now? Well, I can get back to you with it. I'll go find it out because I don't right. know it off by heart because obviously we don't yep. often get okay. asked the question. No. And that's the problem, I think. You don't often get asked the question. I'm giving you now ten minutes because we're just going round in circles, OK? Yeah. I think you're just looking for things to argue about. No, now. I think I'm, I'm, I'm done. Good. I'll, uh, I'll leave it with that. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do Darren's complaint via written report. That's fine. Uh, with the recording. Um, right. And can I just tell you, you don't need to record staff. You're not allowed to record staff and we won't listen to you. Is it a law? Um, and can I just tell you, you don't need to record staff. You're not allowed to record staff and we won't listen to you. Is it a law? It says that all over the audio job record. centre, you're not allowed unless you record Well, according to Jim Cuthbert's on, on video recording, there's no reason why we shouldn't we be able to digitally you, record right, these I'm not discussing here, any so further. You cannot we record them. Don't call from a legal point of view, but I, you can record... We've looked in the instructions, there's not a problem. Yeah. Video recording, I'm not so sure about. Personally, I'm not comfortable. Cause That's fine. You could put this on the internet, but you could put it on Facebook or whatever you do. Well, if I'm you not comfortable say, with that. I'm got, if you used to say you're not comfortable about the situation. I'm, I'm, comfortable, with, I'm comfortable with this recording, no right, problem, but um, not the video recording. In fact, that it could go in the, as James says, in the public domain. I don't think that's the list. I don't know from a legal point of view. Record, there's no problem James, I can sit down and talk to you both and you can record yeah. it. You've rung up, right, I've only picked up your email this morning, so I've been on holiday, just to say the interview will be recorded. We looked in the up and said, yeah, there's no, no problem. There's a lot of contradictive information, isn't there? It's like Let's end the conversation lack of communication, now. didn't get that information, that's not what I was told, I'm just doing my job. Mm. Right, okay, end the conversation. I think so. Okay. I'll be in touch. I'm sure you will. This place is under investigation now. Okay. Yeah, I'm Paula. How's it going? Record what? Who says I'm recording? Thanks for that information. Well, I disagree there, but... Well, I disagree there. Have a nice day, fella. God bless.